It's a bird. It's a plane. It's T's Multiverse swooping in for a quick review of Superman and Lois, episode 14, The Eradicator. Man, I'm going to miss this series when it wraps next week. It's such a breath of fresh air. And folks, it has not missed a beat. It is the GOAT. It is the Michael Jordan of DC TV. It's the best series on television, period, as far as I'm concerned. It has it all. Story, character development, pacing, cinematography, just has it all. It's such a breath of fresh air. Before I get into review, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. i love for you to join Team Multiverse. It'd be great if you would like like the video uh, also if you haven't hit that bell notification so that you're notified when my videos drop i really appreciate it if you do that also i do have available a more in-depth review of the series thus far i have the link below my co-host kiki and i dive more into the series as a whole so you definitely don't want to miss out on that so be sure to check that out part three of this overall review will be available once the series wraps after next week all right with all that out of the way folks let's get into this series so this series pretty much picks up where the main antagonist, Morgan Edge, where he's posed as pretty much like a shrewd businessman to begin the series. Edge comes off as to being more of a Lex Luthor type, even though he winds up being a Kryptonian. And not only that, he is Clark's half-brother, which was a huge twist. He is using this Kryptonian device to pretty much take over the populace of both Metropolis and Smallville in an effort to create his own Kryptonian army. He's imbuing them with the consciousness of other Kryptonians. That's the gist of the episode. He feels like his purpose is to rule, and this is mentality is passed down from his father. Ultimately, Morgan Edge consumes the Eradicator device to become the Eradicator himself, which makes him that much more of a threat. You know, the rest of the episode plays out as normal. You're treated to some excellent storytelling, awesome action sequences involving Superman, Steel, the Kryptonian army. So Edge imbues the consciousness of his father into Jordan, which really sets us up for this huge season finale, which I cannot wait to see. And even with all of Clark's powers and abilities, he's unable to locate his son, Jordan, which leaves he and Lois at a loss at the end of the episode. That's where it's at right now. Again, this series is so good. It's so awesome. You know, you have Steel that is a part of the show now. If you're not familiar, he is a DC character. He plays a big part within the Superman mythos. He's an awesome character in his own right. So they pretty much are like the dynamic duo. It's awesome to see them team up and take on forces of evil. I look forward to seeing what they bring to the table with the 15th and final episode. This show cannot come back soon enough. Before I wrap this up, I want to show you guys the promo trailer for the season finale. Enjoy. All you care about is one person when everyone else on this planet's about to die. How pathetically human. Why would he take Jordan? Why would he take Jordan? I don't know how much time we have before he's gone. I have seen how capable the boys have become. They're strong. Like their father. Like their mother. Jordan! You can't do it alone. You have to let us help you. We need to evacuate Smallville. We can go. We can stay in help. We stay in help. We're gonna fail. Again. No! Where is my son? You have no idea what's coming next. Dad! Even Superman won't be able to stop it. I won't die. Superman and Lois, season finale, Tuesday at 9 Central. Free next day, only on the CW app. Stay tuned for my more in-depth overview once this show wraps. Thank you once again for tuning in. Let me know in the comments, have you checked out this series so far? What do you think about this episode? What do you think is going to happen in the 15th and final episode? I look forward to reading your thoughts on this. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. And until next time, be good to one another. Be safe and stay tuned. And up, up, and away. Bye, folks.